Before I get started, I want to explain this recipe a little bit. What had happened is I had some chicken breasts, I had some croutons, some garlic buttery croutons, and I decided to put that together and make a nice big chicken with a nice crunch because I was really feeling for some fried chicken and we all know too much of that fried chicken stuff isn't healthy for us. So I decided to put those two ingredients together and this is what I came up with. So join me in the kitchen as I put this garlic buttery croutons together with my steam chicken. The chicken, however, I pre-steamed the chicken before I baked it. Normally in Trinidad, when we are making an oven fried chicken, and an oven fried chicken is basically crackers, salted crackers. We, old school where you will take a billina or a rolling pin and we will crush the crackers and mix our pre-seasoned steamed chicken in that crackers, put it in the oven, and it is a healthier version to a fried chicken, or we would call it an oven fried chicken. All right, so today I am going to do that, but not use crackers. I am going to use some croutons, some buttery croutons, and I am not going to put it in the oven. I am going to put it in the broiler, on 10 minutes intervals, turn it around and put it back in for the next 10 minutes and that kind of thing. So do enjoy and thanks for watching Candace Corner. Beside pre-seasoning my chicken, I also season the water I'm going to steam my chicken in. I will leave all the ingredients in the description and this is the croutons I'm going to use. I am going to use a tea towel and use a meat tenderizer. You can use a rolling pin or you can also use a food processor but I'm going old school and I got this very fine and place it into a container and my chicken is cooked and full of flavor as I mentioned the seasoning that I added extra to the water plus adding in my pre-seasoned chicken would be in the description. So I'm gently going to put this meat with the croutons and remember that the croutons is also flavored so you have to be very cautious of the salt you're adding when you're baking any type of stock because especially if you're doing this recipe because there is also added seasoning in the croutons. If you made it this far in the video, um, I just want to remind you Wednesday March 11th at 6 p.m. look out for chocolate and chit chat. Chocolate and Chit Chat is an episode on my YouTube channel. Just consists of some good chocolate tea or any type of drink with chocolate in it. And just have a nice little chit chat. So don't forget tomorrow, March 11th at 6 p.m. Let's continue with this chicken recipe. This is after the first 10 minutes in a broiler and after the second 10 minutes, this is what it looks like. We are all done. I am going to dress and eat with whatever you would like to eat it with. I am just having it all by itself. This thing was so crunchy, the extra buttery taste from the croutons and plus all the pre-seasoning from my chicken and the stock. As I said, I was very cautious with the sodium because croutons already is salted and full of flavor. I didn't need to add too much. Thanks for watching. Any questions, leave it in the comment section.